In today's video, I will be showing you how to create this quick and easy composite using Adobe Photoshop. So what I did was to first mask out Lionel, but if you want to use this image without masking the entire person, that is good to go. But if you want to mask it, go to quick selection tool, like here, make sure the subject is selected and you can go to select and mask so that you can refine the haze if that need be click on this to see how it's going to look in the the overlay mode go to the quick selection tool simply drag over the person like this select or you just click on select subject and your computer will do it automatically for you. So you see the subject has been selected automatically. You now have to output it. If you need to refine the hairs, then you click on the refined brush or the refined edge brush and you simply paint slightly on the hairs like this to refine the hairs. Don't go too deeply as it's going to lose details. I will go to control Z and go down i'll put it as a new layer with layer mask you see that here it has chopped the refined edge has chopped part of his hair but since i already did this i will uncheck this and use this one so going back to what i did here that is the first stage that i did and now secondly i had to duplicate messi so this is the background, like the original, the image that is beneath. You see, there is something here that I also did to bring back some hair details. It is, which is this layer. So you can see, see how it is. When I click here, I try to bring back some hair details. So I will go back and here is me which i also resize so i had to trace out this person which i already did as and exported it as a png so you will use the same procedure that you use in tracing out messi now you have to duplicate this messi so this is a duplicate up here and now you mask only these hands so masking only these hands means this hand will be at the top while Messi is at the bottom. This is Messi still with the hand, but now this is the hand only. Without this hand being at the top of me, this hand can't touch your head. For example, if I carry this one and place above this hand, you see that my self or my head is above this hand so that is the only way you can make that hand to touch your head so i will bring it back control z i also had to resize this person by simply reducing the opacity this original image that i also placed at the top is just for reference so that will permit me to know at the exact position where i should place my sub like now I had to reduce the opacity of this original image like this so that I can see the trophy and know how I can resize my image. Select the image of you, control T to resize. And now holding down alt or shift depending on the Photoshop version that you are using. If you click on this, this little uh, link here that is one to maintain the aspect ratio without holding shift or without holding add you can resize the image like this as you can see but if you don't check this you have to hold shift on earlier versions of photoshop so that as you are dragging or bringing it down the aspect ratio is not affected the moment you drag it until you see that the head falls exactly at the very position of the trophy then you click on this check icon or you simply press on enter to confirm i will uncheck back this 
I bring back this opacity so that we can see some details here under the fingers you can find some shadows these shadows are not the trophy they are just shadows on the trophy caused by the fingers so you also have to make sure you add these shadows so that they can't touch your head like what you are seeing here so these are the shadows that i also added this is the shadow layer if i uncheck this you see how it looks like it doesn't look real if we allow it like that it doesn't look real it's like fake you can download this link in the description it is a google file document where you get the psd and the images used in this project you can follow along you can just simply change this my photo and add yours and then export it if you happen to post this on tiktok you can tag me amando pro media that is my username on youtube you can also tag me my youtube handle name is amando media you can also tag me on instagram amando media one or tag me on the facebook amando media 99 so that i can't see what you did to add these shadows what i did was to create a new layer above my self like this go to this plus to add a new layer like this one and then take the brush tool b is the brush tool make sure this is black or if it is not black make sure you press d so that this becomes black or if it is white you simply press x to invert it the opacity is 100 the flow is 100 so if i paint here see that it is too strong so i will have to reduce it slightly reduce the flow to maybe 39 percent try to paint to follow the hands like this one paint here paint here too and also paint here and here as well what to filter blur and gaussian blur adding some blur to this shadow will look it more better than without so this is the before which is like fake this is after so the blur is too much i will bring it the reduce slightly down like this you have to keep trying until it looks realistic also i have to add shadows behind me i have to select myself and now add shadows beneath because this one is affecting only my body so we need to see some a bit of shadows of me touching Lionel messi's shed but if you look at this side there seems to be light coming from this direction so less shadows should be here and more shadows should be at this point because this area seems to be darker than this one hold control and then you press this that is a way to add a new layer below the active layer so this is it with the brush tool selected i will simply maybe reduce the flow reduce the opacity accordingly and then still try to do like this paint like this you can as well reduce the opacity see how it looks like reduce the opacity or you also add a bit of gaussian blur to make it look better and at the end what i did was to add some color grading this is color grading i group everything which is pretty okay for any person who is a beginner to follow along color grading here is the adjustment layer that i added i added channel one i added color balance one i added brightness and contrast by doing that you have to make sure you add this uh, uh, color adjustment at the top so that it can affect all the layers so you have to add an adjustment layer by clicking on this icon 
select the one that you want if you want to add brightness and contrast if you want levels if you want curve just select it like this one i will go in for maybe hue and saturation this affecting everything below so pick a color that is best for you and make everything to match or if you want to add individually that is you want to add a particular color to lionel make sure this is lionel here or oh, this is me click on the adjustment select any like levels for example if i slide it like this is it is affecting me or the entire photo or the entire artwork but if i hold alt and then click on this middle place that is these levels between these two i am adding what we call clipping mask means i want this to affect only the layer below or right from the properties from the properties when you go to these uh, levels you have this icon that is clipping mask it's going to affect only the layer which is slided below i want to delete that i don't want to use it the next thing that i also did was to add this stadium below and then lock it like this this is locked I click i unlock then i also lock it and i added it as a smart object a smart object means you can use it you can modify it non-destructively it doesn't lose quality whenever you try to zoom in or do whatever you want to do here is also a black solid background it is optional for you i just wanted to make it a little darker and reduce the opacity to 20 percent so if you look kindly at this one, you will see that I added some blur, some Gaussian blur to it. That's why when I expand this, you will find this Gaussian blur attached to it. Now, if I uncheck smart filters, unlock it, Gaussian blur is going to disappear. You see how it, it is. This doesn't look real. This doesn't look good. But when Gaussian blur is added to it like this one, you see it to be good so it's always good to convert your layer into smart object then you apply a gaussian blur to it to convert your layer into smart object simply right click on it and then you will find convert to smart object somewhere here a uh, new smart object like this convert to smart object is already in smart object that is why you find this icon on this photo this one too is smart object i don't know if there is a stage that i didn't explain to you so at the end what you have to do is to export this image before exporting this image maybe you want to resize it in a way that it can be posted in instagram without it being cropped then you click on c crop tool which is C by shortcut and you will choose here four by five. You can still drag it when it shows you this. You can still reduce it like this if you want. Then bring it down, bring it down, bring the image right or like this, depending on what you want, like this one. And then if you are happy with that, you simply press OK to go and automatically your image will be converted into a 4 by 5 so you can export it go to file go to export and export as for those using the earlier versions of photoshop if you are using an older version you might go to save as and then you choose the option that you want if you want to export it as a PNG or a JPEG or a GIF, I will go in for PNG and go to export and then choose where you want this image to be saved. I want it on my desktop. I will go to save. This is the image that we just saved. I will open it and boom, here we go. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share this video so that other people can follow along 
Thank you for watching and I wish you happy new year.